I'd like to offer you my heartiest congratulations. What you've achieved has been recognised by your fellow citizens and you've now been honoured by the Queen and I've been honoured myself to give you that award on behalf of the Queen. Well done, enjoy the day. The New Zealand Royal Honours System is steeped in history and tradition. From 1848 till 1975 we were part of the British based system. A highlight of the 1953-54 Royal Tour of New Zealand was an investiture ceremony conducted by a young Queen Elizabeth. It's a gala day for the capital. At the Town Hall, the Queen honours 130 North Islanders. First, the Chief Justice, the Honourable Harold Barraclough, for services to law and public bodies. He rises Sir Harold Barraclough. The former commander of the New Zealand 3rd Division in the Pacific Theatre of War, equally distinguished in civil life, receives insignia of a Knight Commander of the Order of St. Michael and St. George. Until the present royal tour, these ceremonies had never before been filmed. 2,000 guests look on as Mr. Bruce Levy of Palmerston North, who has done as much as anyone in the world to make two blades of grass grow where one grew before, receives the accolade of knighthood. Sir Bruce Levy. The awards nowadays are presented at either Government House Wellington, the official residence of our Head of State, the Queen's representative, Dame Patsy Reddy, this country's 21st Governor-General, or her Auckland residence for those receiving accolades in the Upper North Island. A fully Indigenous honours system was adopted in 1996 with the introduction of the New Zealand Order of Merit. The awards are one way in which the nation can recognise the achievements of people in all walks of life for all kinds of amazing service to the nation. It, uh, recognises the achievements of people who've given a lifetime of service and uh, devotion to duty uh, and for those who've uh, worked in community service with no expectation of reward. And I think it's such a wonderful opportunity to thank people and the fact that I can do it in person is amazing. Our highest award is still the Victoria Cross with Corporal Willie Apiata, the latest recipient for extreme bravery in Afghanistan. The Order of New Zealand, introduced in 1987, comes next with its ordinary membership restricted to 20 living persons. Then the New Zealand Order of Merit, which has five levels, with men in the top two called Sir. Dames and Knights Grand Companions, Dames and Knights Companions, Companions, Officers and Members. And the Queen's Service Order and Queen's Service Medal for Community and Public Service. New Zealand's honours system also includes a series of gallantry and bravery awards. The most important part is that you're able to bring in people from all walks of life, from all parts of the country, and recognise them in the sense in the same ceremony for so many different things, whether it's outstanding uh, skills and qualities in, in their chosen careers, or whether it's outstanding achievement by their service to others, or whether it's outstanding achievement in their duty to the country. So to each and every recipient, I'd like to offer my heartiest congratulations. It's an amazing achievement and you should be very proud. The, excellencies, the, right the actual presentation of the awards on behalf of the Queen is one of the most important functions of Her Excellency, the Governor-General. Taia, taia, 
Tae a te dei bumo, tae a te da momo, whakatai rangatia. Whakamāna watia te toki atu, whakamāna watia te rau ōrongo. Oi whiwhi a te tohu, oi rawe a te tohu, oi tā mau a te tohu, taumata rau tia te tohu, haumi e, hui e, tāi ki e. E ngā mana, e ngā reo, e ngā iwi o ngā hōe whā. Tēnei aku mihi mahana ki a koutou. Kia ora tātou katoa. No mai haere mai rā ki te wharekawana. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, warm greetings to you all and welcome to Government House. I specifically acknowledge the Honourable Poto Williams, Minister of the Crown, our kuia Dr. Hiria Hape, a Komatua, Professor Peri Shasha, Tena Koto. It's a real pleasure to host this investiture ceremony today and bring together 12 honour recipients along with their family and friends to recognise the contributions they have made to our country. As Governor General, I have the authority and the privilege on behalf of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, the Queen of New Zealand, to hold an investiture for her and to confer the honours to which each recipient is entitled. Ladies and gentlemen, as each one is honoured, I invite you to join me in thanking and congratulating them for their service to our country. Mr Ward Kamal will now summon the recipients and read a citation for each one. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Ms Hinewirangi Morgan of Hamilton for services to victim support. Hinewirangi Morgan has worked as a counsellor in Hamilton and is a founding director of the Māori Women's Centre. She is the director of Tawhanu Te Rau Aroha Limited, which runs inmate programs at the Aumarama Waikeria Prison. She is the executive director for the Ngā Matohano Trust, a board member of the International Indian Treaty Council and a steering committee member for Australia and Aotearoa in nuclear-free independent Pacific. She has developed women's programs for the Asian Cultural Forum on Development and is part of the women's collective Ka Atamai. Ms Morgan writes poetry, short stories, novels, plays, waiata and children's books. The investiture is concluded. An investiture ceremony is the most important event that I hold on behalf of Her Majesty, the Queen of New Zealand. <coughs> it allows me, as Governor General, to recognise and thank an extraordinary group of people on behalf of all New Zealanders. 
by using their talents to make ours a better society, whether by service to their communities or by their leadership in diverse fields of endeavour or their commitment to excellence in their own field of expertise. Our recipients have set a fine example to others, encouraging them in their own endeavours. To the recipients, it's been a privilege to hear your stories this morning. You have demonstrated determination, commitment and compassion in your daily lives. In your own way, each of you has helped make New Zealand a better place to live. In some cases, your influence and the positive impact of your work has extended beyond our shores. Your actions and the stories we've heard today reflect the spirit of Martin Luther King when he said, those who are not looking for happiness are the most likely to find it because the surest way to be happy is to seek happiness for others. Your contributions have enriched the cultural, social and economic fabric of Aotearoa New Zealand. Please wear your insignia with pride, knowing that your communities appreciate and value your work and are inspired by your examples. On behalf of the Queen of New Zealand and all New Zealanders, I congratulate you on your achievements and I thank you for your service <coughs> to our country. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that almost brings to a close the formal part of today's ceremony. But uh, before we do go through for refreshments, may I ask you to stand and join me in singing our national anthem.
仕事